and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, make sure to head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Head on over to Buy Madden Coins and use code PULA at checkout for 20% off your order. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Community, guys. Simply going over how to get three 94 overall players super cheap. Now, I've shown you guys this method in the past. I did one yesterday, but I'm going to be alternating it math with other sets, as you guys know, because this doesn't just apply to the one. It applies to multiple sets. And a lot of you guys probably rather me explain it for you guys and just go figure it out on your own. Now, remember that today, the training values do change. The kindling, the kindling is leaving today as a whole which means that cards are going to convert to a training value which i honestly prefer which shouldn't impact these sets too much at all because although some things might go up a slight amount of a slight amount of coins as will the master so it kind of just counteracts itself it's really not that concerning i've done it with my, i've always done it with training and i've always done it with kindling or any new currency so it's never really changed for me now this one's going to be regarding the present set not the past set i initially did it with the pa the, pa the past set because i figured you guys like the higher overall players but a lot of you guys were asking for the other ones such as present and future so I'm going to be going over those for you guys. And before we get into the video, guys, if you're new to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button, turn that notify bell, boys. We're trying to hit 25k by the end of the year. You guys went crazy yesterday with like two to 300 subscribers. So can we do it again, boys? You know how that, the best way to help me do that is by liking this video. If you're here from Noti Gang, if you're here from Noti Gang, you better always comment Noti Gang and like the video. Can we get 500 to 1,000 likes in this video? We've never gotten above those numbers. If everyone right now watching hits that like button, we could potentially hit one of those goals. And if you're here for Noti Gang, always hit the like button. It helps the channel out tremendously. As you guys see yesterday, my videos boomed. My channel boomed because you guys spammed the like button. So let's see if we can keep making it happen. So let's see if I can post this video and within the first 10 seconds, I have 30 likes. That, that'd be awesome. So let's make it happen. Now let's come over to sets and let's start this video. So come over to Zero Chill, Ghost of Madden says, Yesterday we did the Ghost of Madden pass Patrick Willis. So we're doing the Ghost of Madden present Julio Jones set. Now guys, I really like these three players in this set, which was specific. Whoa. Whoa. Specifically why I'm going over them. Now guys, I apologize for my voice. I'm very sick. My girlfriend has the flu right now. And I don't know if I'm getting it. I don't know, but I cannot speak properly. My voice is killing me right now. So if my voice cuts out or if it goes... I'm sorry, I just hope it doesn't go and I can't do videos. That's my that's my one fear right now. But let's get into this let's, let's continue. So the way this set is exchange ghost to Ron Armstead, Jair Alexander, and Harrison Smith get 95 over Julio Jones power up item and the required three players back as Nat cards. So there's three ways to always look at the set. There's method one, two, and three. I put my first one I always like to advertise as method one. Method two is the second one. You could do a method three. Sometimes it's the best of both worlds, but you'll see it all as the video unfolds. So first things first, the method I like to employ is the method where you keep the three nats. Now let's go check out the prices first. So Teron Armstead goes for two four hundred and forty one thousand coins. Now remember these numbers might change a little bit once the training conversion happens. But that's okay. Just do the math like I did here, and you can see the exact value again. So he goes for I missed that again two forty. Now remember, though, never buy for the prices you see there. You can oh, if you sit there for like five seven minutes, you can easily get one for like two twenty five two thirty. I'm gonna end up going with 230k because that's just there's no reason to ever buy high. It always helps with these sets when you wait a little bit. Jerry Alexander says 280, but that's not that's not right. That's more likely. There's just none on there right now. Teron Armstead does have a, quite a few of him, so I'd imagine Jerry Alexander's probably gonna be more in like the 270 range. So let's go to 270, and then we add that to Harrison Smith, who shouldn't be too expensive because not many people seem to like him. I'm gonna go over the about 225 with him, and let's see the overall value of the set. So the set costs 725,000 coins. That's just with the three players. Now let's go see the price of Julio Jones. Julio Jones should be pretty expensive. He's pretty awesome. I've heard that he's pretty unstoppable online. Although I'm not the biggest fan of his stats, I heard he's really, really good. And it's not that I'm not a fan of his stats. It's more so his speed. They definitely underrate Julio's speed every time he gets a card, which I'm not entirely sure why. All right, so let's go over to Julio Jones. He goes for 469,000 coins. Now if you sell him at night, you could easily sell him for about 500K. Which after reduction comes out to about 450, anyways. So this is the final cost now. Let's go back to the set. Julio goes for 450. <coughs> Excuse me. Zero chill. Goes to Madden. Julio set. All right. So now that we're back here, Julio goes for 450. So 725k is the grand total for the cards. Subtract 450k. And yes, I did include EA 10% tax. So that comes out to 275,000 coins for to do the set. So the way it works, since you guys, in case I skipped something for you guys, when you when you complete the set, it will cost 725k. You will now have Julio Jones, Teron Armstead, Jair Alexander, Harrison Smith. 
Now, if you take Julio Jones, you sell him and his power up. That will go for 450k for him and 5k for his power up. You end up now with 270,000 coins spent. So with 270,000 coins spent, you get Teron Armstead, Jair Alexander, and Harrison Smith. So you get the best left tackle in the game, a top five cornerback in the game, and probably a top seven safety in the game. Now, guys, if you don't think that's a great deal, you're crazy. So think about it this way, right? Let's say you're like, I need a, you probably everyone probably needs a new left tackle. Teron Armstead is the best left tackle probably in the game right now, or at least up there. So you're saying to yourself, I need a new left tackle. I'm gonna go buy Teron Armstead. He's 240k. For 30k more, 270k, you can get three 94 over players. Like the way the way I think about this set, this set pretty much is if you want to buy it, you could take one card and multiply it to three. You can get three for the price of one. That's literally how I see this set every time. You can get Armstead. You can get Jair Alexander. Jair Alexander is a freaking animal guy. And if you want a Jair Alexander, and I was 289. Literally, if you're going to buy Jair Alexander, you might as well do the set because you're going to be able to get all three of them. Jair Alexander is a monster. 93 speed. Powered up and chemed up. He's going to have like a 95 speed with like 97 press with like 96 man and like 90 zone. He's a monster. With great agility, great acceleration. Decent catching. Let's see what his return stats are. Nothing too great with the return stats, but I'm telling you guys, he is an absolute animal. And then on top of all that, you do get Harrison Smith, which I'm typically not an advocate for Harrison Smith, but he's not looking horrible on this card. Great zone, great hit power, great play rec, great excel, great man, decent speed, chemmed up, powered up, and if you want to put him in the box as a linebacker, probably one of the best linebackers in Madden. So you get all three of them for the price of one. Now that's method one. Method one is the one I always recommend. Now method two, method two is, this one is where you quick sell all three of them. Oh no, this one's where you, you quick sell like all three of them and you keep Julio Jones. Now, no, or you don't have to quick sell them. You can just keep all of them. Now, method two is going to be 725K, right? Now, it's a lot of money. It's a lot of coins. But if you divide that by four, it, it kind of costs you 181K per. So let's say this is for the people who have a ton of coins. and want to do all of them. So let's say you want Julio, you want Armstead, you want Jay Alexander, you want Harrison Smith. I'd still recommend if you want all four of them, if you buy them all separately, right? If you buy them all separately, it'll cost you 725K plus four, uh, 500K for Julio. It'll cost you 1.2 million coins to get all of them. So let's say you wanted all of them and you didn't want to spend all the coins. You just do the set. For the set, it will cost 725k. You pretty much get each one for 181,000 coins, which is a which is a good sale for you. It's a good it's it's, it's a steal. Now method three. Method three is the one that depending on the promo, it's worth it. So I did the training conversion on these cards since that they are well they're changing as of when you see this video. So I'm over on Mudhead to show you guys the actual value. So. The training value for a 94 is what we're concerned with. So let's look up Jim Brown, who is one of the 94 NFL 100 cards, because that's what these cards are going to be in 94 with overalls. Jim Brown quick sells for 18,200 training. Now remember, these cards are nats, so you do not get the full value, you get half. So you will get about 9,100 training per card. So you could do this set, right? So let's say when you do this set, it's 725K, which was the overall value to the set. Now you subtract the price of selling Julio. Method three, you still sell Julio. So now you sell Julio for about 450 after tax. That leaves you with 275. Now let's say you love Toronto Armstead, you love Jair Alexander, but you don't want Harrison Smith. You could quick sell Harrison Smith for 9,000 training. Now coins per training right now, to do that exact math is going, I believe it's about 11 coins, I believe it's 12 coins per. So 9,000 training times 12. That's 108K. So in theory, you're getting 108,000 108, coins worth of training. So now that it's 275, Subtract 108,000 coins. So now it's 167k you spent total. Now obviously you don't get the coins back from the trade. You could go convert with heavyweights and stuff, but in in the meantime it's 167 coins total. Now let's say you only wanted Teron Armstead. You really don't want Jair Alexander either. Now you quick sell Jair Alexander. Now you have 18,200 training. Now again go back to 275. 18,200 training times the value of 12 coins per is 218,400. So you take 275,000, which was the total coin spent total after selling Julio, minus the initial price that we just saw, and we end up with about 60K. So it would have costed you 60K to get a 94 overall player. Just think about that. If you want only one card, you could sell Julio, quick sell two of the guys you don't want, and then you can go ahead and go get Toronto Armstead for 60K. Now you're gonna have 18,000 training. Now realistically, you can go ahead and go convert that if you like. It's up to you. I mean, you can just keep the training because you're probably gonna need it at some point anyways. So in theory, you got a really good deal on a card as well as getting really good training value. Now, if you look at it here, 
you can go over and you can go to trading currency and you can convert it to like let's say you have uh, 18,000 you can go buy I don't know nine of these you can do whatever you want here it's up to you guys I, I personally don't really recommend it I think I probably should end up keeping the training but in essence you would have gotten a 94 overall player for 60 overall 60 coins 60,000 coins guys there's no more to be said I think there's enough said there this is one of the best sets man I think this one actually may be better than the past there's more coins to be made here with the training the training conversions are actually setting a little better to me I'm just saying guys I highly recommend it now that is about it for the video if you are into the channel make sure to go down below hit that subscribe button turn that notify bell boys come join the family can we break yesterday's record of 250 subscribers or plus whatever we ended up at you made it this far make sure to subscribe and if noti gang if you're still here if all my lowest subs are here make sure to spam that like button boys i want to see if we can get to 500 to 1000 likes today on a single video which we really never get and we've never broken a thousand so that'd be awesome so if you're sorry if you're here if you're here still always hit that like button it helps the channel boom yesterday was my most viewed day on my channel ever in the history of my channel so that's because you guys spam that like button so make sure you ha make sure it happens again thank you guys so much for watching comment down below if you have any questions i'm out see you guys next video peace